In QGIS, when you work with color ramps, you may be applying the color ramp to either discrete data that's been grouped into classes, or you may be applying it to a continuous data set to visualize different data values across a color gradient. The latter is what you normally see when visualizing something like elevation data, which is what you see on the screen here. When you create a legend in QGIS, the default results in a legend with specific data values or a set of values linked to a specific color swatch. Let's take a look at what that looks like for this data set. So first I'll go to project and then new print layout. Then I'll add my map. And then I'll click on Add a New Legend. And you'll see here that's, that's exactly what QGIS is doing. It's creating a color swatch for each different value in your data set. And that's fine for a lot of different data sets. But in a case of a continuous data set, it's probably not what we're looking for. You're probably looking for a continuous color ramp instead of uh, specific color swatches. So there are a few approaches that you can take to make a legend that is more like a continuous color ramp. And the first option involves just performing a few tweaks to what QGIS has put together for you already. And so in that case, you just want to make sure that your legend is selected and then go over to item properties and then scroll down to spacing and click on that arrow. And you'll see that this option here, symbol space, you can just reduce the amount of space between each of your legend symbols. And so that makes it look more like a color, a continuous color ramp here. And then you can also click on symbol and uncheck draw stroke for raster symbols. And when I do that, that removes the outlines from all of the different color swatches. And then you can also increase or decrease the symbol width or height, depending on what your preference is too. Now for your, your labels here, you probably want to get rid of those and perhaps just include one at the top and bottom, or maybe also one in the middle. You could just manually remove each of these labels, but that's going to take a lot of time. So instead, you might want to just go down to fonts and change the color of the font to whatever your background color is going to be, and that just removes them. And then you can just click on the um, Add Text button over on the left, and then just manually add some labels. So that's one approach. The second approach, you want to make sure that your color ramp is saved to your favorites. And so to do that, what you would do is just um, in the layer styling panel, this is one way you can do it. Just go to the color ramp section, click on the arrow and choose save color ramp. And be sure to click add to favorites. And then when I click on the arrow again, I'll see that my color ramp has been added to my favorites here. So now let's go back to a print layout. I'll add my map. And instead of adding a legend, what I'm going to do is add a rectangle from that menu on the left. So I'll just draw my rectangle and then over in the item properties, 
go to Style, choose Configure Symbol, click on Simple Fill, and then go down to Simple Layer Type and choose Gradient Fill. Then click on Color Ramp, click on the arrow, and I'll just select my color ramp. And then once again, I can use the text tool to just add whatever labels I want, like at the top and the bottom or wherever. So that's another approach. There are a few other options that are out there that I've seen. I'm in the video description, I've added a link to a stack exchange thread that covers this topic that you may want to look at for a few other potential options.